Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator. We got stuff done, like I said we're going to do, so... We are now... Gonna head back off to the farm with this guy. Jump back into... Well, jump down here to the telehandler, but first I want to show you guys this. This is where the other bear was going to go and just had a minor heart attack. This is where hay and wrapped bear was going to be stored. This, that I'm actually really proud of, is my haystack. A straw? Yeah, straw stack, should I say. So this was all stacked by me. It's not the neatest in some respects, but they're there. And there's the beast. There, and this is where the telehandler is going to stay down here, because it's where it gets used. So, of course, this video is being recorded straight after yesterday's video, so if people are commenting about what tractors are the tractors me getting rid of and what feeder to use, hence why you're not seeing anything being done in this video right now, because I'm recording it straight after the, me finishing up. They were meant to scrub in the videos yesterday. So that's my bale stacking. I'm quite proud of that. As it's the first time I've ever actually did any of that. All of it was done manually. I did use the auto stacker to bring the bales close to the barn and just dump them outside and take them off the stack and whatnot. Best and quickest easiest way of doing it. If I could do that with the Oh, wrapped bales. I will probably be doing the same thing. I'll, up, I'll load up like a trailer though, so you guys can see how that's done. I didn't even get many prints in here, I didn't realise. I actually don't think I have an auto sucker for the round bales. No, I don't, because I was never planning on doing them. So that's that out of the equation. Right, let's go find the telehandler. So I did, obviously, all of that off camera. I wanted to see if I could do it. Um, question is, if you guys want to see that type of stuff, um, let me know in the comments of this video. And I will endeavour in doing some of that in the future. Some nice square bales stacking like that. Okay, where do we need to go for the shop? Straight up that road. Really wish there was a way of disabling the forward steer once sort of travelling down the road. So it always feels like it's steers too tight. Kind of irritating. Actually, we need to go to the farm first, then the shop, because we need the trailer. This is another field, actually, I didn't realise. Uh, I could have moaned, or mowed. But oh well. This is another good example about how they've, they've got the suspension set up in Farming Simulator wrongly by you can see the bump stops either side 
over the axle there, where the axle's supposed to pivot. Uh, the wheels go up and down, as you'll see in a minute. See, like that? They ain't supposed to be doing that. And this here is a solid axle, solidly mounted, so it, that has no suspension movement whatsoever. Which it shouldn't do anyway. Something small, small that probably... Some people may have never noticed, but it's something like that that does bug me. Could have gone straight forward actually for the trailer. No matter. I've always said this, and I always will. I do question how much the Giants team have been around a tractor, a uh, telehandler, stuff like that. I do believe they should have gone around and looked at all the pieces of equipment that they were going to do. so they can get a full on understanding on how stuff works, how stuff looks along those lines, suspension, air seats, I think something they should uh, I think implement is most tractors, most machinery is air sprung seats, that's your suspension right there They made probably quite a bit of money from 13. Be nice to know where the money went. This is BM's BM modeling, or MB modeling, one of the two, I can never remember where it goes. Bay old trailer. It was out pretty much day release farms and come out, I believe. It's a fantastic trailer. It really is. In fact, it came out on the day release. <laughs> I've always wondered this if those guys have got insiders to the game. Especially for the Forest mod to come out and and this forestry in the game and everything pretty much was in the forest mod that was in here. Hey, you gotta make you wonder. Fantastic trailer. Small. Uh, but I'd recommend it all day long. My experience with the stock trailer is not exactly great, so I'll always use this one. some of these up. May get the auto stacker of these, they're going to take a while. I believe the auto stacker technically doesn't pierce them, so it should be okay. We shall see. There's one thing both me and Rubberside Down and No Doubt Deputy have noticed is what we think is boring in video terms. People love them. People absolutely love it. Uh, it's something that I've never really understood. So has this got the... Oh, this would be per This would be better for actual stacking bales. <laughs> okay. Because this hasn't got any walkways in there. Interesting. He was actually saying to me the other day that people have been commenting in his videos and it's nice to go on his videos and see people commenting probably put their links in the description. If not, go on my channel. Um, they're there. Uh, both Deputy P and Ripside Down. Ripside Down, you'll hear me refer to him as Recon, because that's pretty much what I've known him as, but his YouTube name is Ripside Down. I've known him for quite a while. Um, play Minecraft. Come on, because of Minecraft. Um, mainly because of Bill. At the time, he was a... John Deere agricultural technician, so basically a mechanic on the tractors there. So he knows what he's talking to about when it comes to the machinery. And 
he brought Deputy along. Those two have known each other for stupid amounts of years. I didn't realise how long those two go back. And listen to those two on team speak sometimes, it can be like an old married couple. And they're probably shaking their heads listening to this. But it's true, and they know it. Anybody that plays games together and you get talking. You know exactly what I'm referring to right there. Get a good relationship up with people they've chances are you never met. This one's gonna screw me over when I stack this on the trailer. I can see it coming. He's even thin on the trailer. Not really. That could have been bad. <laughs> that would have been the end of me stacking these. Probably do with using the Marshall trip. Did it again. Probably do with using the Marshall trailer, but that would need to be set and kept on the back of a tractor. Oh, Nelly, slow down. Oh, these are really going to be an absolute bitch to stack. Because I've got to allow enough room while stacking them for the jaws to open. I'm going to push them back on. I did not think of that. I don't even know the rat bales if I'm even stacking these right. When round bales are put out normally then, see so definitely easier to stack. Just finessing that along. There we go. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. So I can see me this being pretty much just a loading video. Unfortunately I don't like doing just solid videos of loading. Let's have a look, Bell Technology, where are you there? Yeah, the audio stacker doesn't have any spikes. You should really pick that up. It's expensive though. Money is low as well. Sand of the beach. So I wonder if you actually do it like that, maybe. Learning curve. And we learn. Even then, I'll be still wary with this type of bail system to unloading it, doing it like that. Like I said. I'll try and get a full trailer, then I will probably end up having to get the auto stacker. I'm gonna need it anyway, right? So.
That's one thing I don't get, is how people can do this from inside the cab. Whoa. In-game. Real life. It's better, you get the whole depth perception and everything. This probably isn't too bad, actually. Let's see if I can do it. Have I driven past the trail? Oh. A pillar's blocking it. Okay, boom's going up. So, for me right now, I don't know how far over the edge I am. So I'm going to stop there and check. So I can get used to it a little bit more. Grab hold of it again. I'm gonna have to. That's weird, it's sat like that. It's almost like the physic or the lock, I guess, come into play. There we go. Oh, that's so gonna screw up. Oh, uh, where is the next bell? Yeah. Kind of just working along the line. So I could probably do these two at a time, but... Definitely not confident at doing that. The square bales, I could do that all day long. No issues. I'm definitely thinking a lot of stuff can maybe in my future. Bump that bale. I think I'm just going to load the bottom tier up. And you guys can tell me where I went wrong. I wouldn't mind betting it's like I was saying about how I'm loading. Probably supposed to do like a pyramid. Screw it. We're like 80 minutes into the video. We are going to get the auto stacker. Ka ching I love the way that thing sounds when it shuts down. Jump into this guy. Wasn't expected to be using them. Him again. This quick. Max speed of 26, but we're running at 25. Just to give it a round number. So the return of the questions and answer videos may be some when during this week, I'm not 100% yet. Could well record that video on Thursday or Friday, one of the two. Six mile an hour tractor being slowed down by traffic. Hmm. Kind of irritated. There is the auto stacker. Even this will probably be kept down there.
fuel gauge works in this tractor too. Sweet. FPS up and down up seems to be stable now again. It's the only game that has issues. That's why I'm almost 100% sure, as sure as I can be, that it's a memory leak somewhere. straight across. I need to look the other way because no traffic ever comes that way, I don't think. Oh no, I'm thinking about Westbridge actually. So the chance are, I could be my dumper traffic one day. So what I'll do is I'll probably dump the round bales. Maybe actually on that grass land there or even down here maybe. So I can just take them off the stack and stack them myself. Lower stacks probably. Although this may work. Kind of really cheap, but. Cool, it does work. I'd have been a bitch if it didn't. already. And that'll probably bring us very close to being done. Oh hell no. Hit the wrong button but luckily we can abort. Just make sure I hit the right button to do that. Abort. So it may actually cheat all round. I'm not sure yet. So you still can't go into a transport position with this thing. Interesting. I like to keep the stacks underneath the windows. That is the case, and we're all good. Now I know normally how these would be stacked. It's actually perfect height, awesome. I don't know how many rows I'll get it, and probably not a whole lot. Still need to actually do some hay. So when I do the hay, I'll stack it. How I think will be properly stacked. I 
And this may be all, guys, because I think the FPS is just taking another crap. We're a good tw 20 minutes in. If it just went another 15. So guys, unfortunately I'm going to have to call it an end of a day again. It does it from time to time. It's weird. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. See you guys later.